If you have a high drive dog that likes to bite, there is one thing that can't be missing from your household. Today we will be showing you how to make a spring pull. Today's video also includes a giveaway, which I'm very excited about. It's the first giveaway that we're hosting on this channel. It's two Tog Toys by the brand Hunsta, and you'll be seeing the Tog Toy in this video. Um, it's customizable in color, so if you are the winner, you can select which colors you would like, and I will ship them out worldwide. So stay tuned to find out how you can win the two Tog Toys. All right, let's get started. These are the items we use for our basic setup. We have two meters of bungee rope, two carabiners, two panic snaps, 10 meters of paracord type 5, and one tug toy of your choice. The bungee rope will form the spring in the spring pole. In order to turn the bungee rope into a spring, you tie it to a loop and then loop it a couple of times to create the amount of slack that you like. After deciding how many loops you want, you attach a carabiner to each side and then attach a panic snap to one of the carabiners. You might wonder why we attach a panic snap to the carabiner. This is because it's a lot easier to remove the top toy. And when your dog is new in spring pull and bite work, you might want to re reward them by giving them the tug. It's easy to grab the tug, lift it slightly, unclip the panic snap and lower the dog to the ground. Now that in total is the basic setup. But the basic setup that I use contains a rope as well. And we use this rope because we like to use the spring pull on a tree outdoors. You'll tie a loop to the end of the rope and attach that to the other carabiner that doesn't have the panic snap. Now this is a type of spring pole that is easy to fold up. You can throw it in a bag and take it on a hike and surprise your dog with some bite work in the middle of a hike. Now to the panic snap, you will attach a tug toy of your choice. There's a variety of these. They come in ute, several types of fabric like milcot or nylon. Now alternatively, the spring pole can also be used in your house if you have some solid beams in the ceiling or in your attic or maybe in the garage. You can attach a screw to the ceiling with a loop at the end to which you can click the carabiner. Now if you don't have a ceiling that you can attach a loop to but you also don't want the dog to work outside of your house, there are brackets that you can buy to screw into the wall and then the dog can safely enjoy the spring pole in your garden. Now this is a fixed length, so I also have some other rope at home that are not to different lengths to make the spring pole higher and lower. And then you can use it indoors as you like when the weather isn't great or if you don't have a safe area to work your dog outside. Now instead of using bungee rope, you can also switch it out for a budget option. An inner bike tire is always very useful. At least use two or double the loop in order to make it safe, otherwise the tire can snap. Alternatively, there are also springs that you can buy, either made specifically for dog sports or porch springs or boat springs. There's a variety that you can buy. We have one from Bum Bum Dog Toys that I'll link below. Alright, so how do we use this spring pole? Originally, the spring pole is used for a dog to tug on a toy with two or four paws on the ground. But you can use the spring pole in different ways. Now, within our sport, there are two disciplines that are based on this spring pole, but the toy will be hanging a lot higher. The first of them is called hang time. The dog will grab onto a toy and it won't be touching anything with the paws and will stay hanging for at least 20 minutes until it reaches the desired black star level. Another thing that we do is high jump, in which the dog aims to jump a specific height and grab the toy. Depending on the dog's shoulder height, 
there is a different height to grab in order to reach the black star level. For this sport, to know how high your dog can jump and to see if it has reached the desired level, it's easy to have a slat with the measurements on it. It's a lot easier to measure the height that way than with a measuring tape. The final way in which you can use the spring pole for one individual dog is by turning it into a tree tower. So instead of looping the rope around a tree branch, you will loop the rope around the tree stem at about the height of your dog's mouth. This will offer your dog the option to talk horizontally rather than vertically. There is one more discipline in the Stafford Olympics for which we use the spring pole. We will now remove the rope and attach another panic snap. Each panic snap will have a tug toy attached. And there will be two dogs present here and they will be doing tug of war in a safe manner. The dog should wear a harness and it should be leashed and attached to something like a fence or a tree or whatever you have to ensure the dog cannot move from that spot. Each dog will be given one end of the toy and they can be encouraged as much as you want in order to keep holding on to the toy. And if it's a new discipline for your dog, you might want to use the panic snap to let your dog win the toy. Alright, so that is the spring fall. I hope that you're going to make one if you don't have one already. And I also hope that you learned a thing or two on all new ways to use a spring fall if you haven't used them that way already. So now it's time to talk about the giveaway. Hunstop are giving away two tug toys, one with one handle or one with two. And the handles can be lined with fleets if you like it. And you're also able to pick the colors of your choice. Now, if you want a chance of getting these two tug toys, then leave a comment below and let me know why you and your dogs should win them. I will select the winner a week from now and I will reply to their comment to let them know that they have won the tug toys and I will also add the winner's name to the description of this video. If there's something you didn't understand in this video, then check out the description. You will find an arrow next to the title if you watch the video on your phone and you can easily find the description if you're watching on your laptop. It will list every product that you have to buy, all the measurements and everything, so you will find that there. For now, have fun with your dogs this week and we will see you again on Sunday. Goodbye!